Well, hello and welcome back to Horrible Doodles. If you're new to this channel, I doodle daily and post it to YouTube. Usually it's all weird stuff. Actually, it's all been weird stuff. So, there is no, like, random chair or, you know, sketch of a shoe or something. It's all weird, blobby, odd-eyed creatures. Except I did do a bunny once. But there was a lot of weird stuff in the background, so I think it counts. Anywho, today I uh, kind of was sitting around thinking, man, it'd be kind of neat to draw something that had like a ton of arms and perhaps its main means of locomotion would be like rolling like a permanent cartwheel kind of thing uh, so I did that I drew a cartwheel creature I guess I don't know uh, unfortunately I had like no supplies just a couple highlighters and couple pins so I do what I can with those supplies and it turns out okay but you know the whole thing is really just to have fun and you know pick something you want to practice because there's no stress here you know you just draw what you want not like you're gonna lose your job because you give this to your boss and he's like, you're fired. This isn't what the advertisers want. So on this one, I picked hands. I wanted to be able to draw really simplistic, quick hands. Um, you know, nothing detailed. So that was what I set out to do. And I think it came out okay. I mean, they're a little warbly and weird, but I just wanted something easy. And they certainly were and hands are getting easier and easier to draw for me which is good so you know that's actually one of the reasons I started this channel was just I want to get back into drawing and I've done a drawing every day now for ooh, I don't know I think uh, going on two months now something like that so, not too shabby. This one's not a very good example of progress I've made, but there's a few in there if you'll check them out. I've made a couple playlists that, you know, for like uh, stippling or line work or whatever. So, those two would probably be the best examples of some better work I've done. This one, I kind of just crank it out because... I wanted it to be simple. I wanted to uh, practice hands a little bit, but I was also limited on my supply so I couldn't get too fancy. Um, and you'll notice once I start coloring in the mouth area, I really kind of screw myself up and I should have kept it simple like the rest of it. Instead, I started to get a little bit crazy trying to mix some colors. So it turns into a brown, weird mess. But once it dries, it's kind of neat. It almost looks like a tie-dye effect, but done poorly. You'll see. It's not too far from now. But I like the teeth. They're nice. Uh, you'll notice I, I colored the whole thing pink, and that was because uh, the gums were going to be pink, and... The rest of it, like the fleshy parts, are going to be kind of a purpley pink. So uh, might as well do the whole thing pink and then color in the uh, purpley area with the blue. See? And then you can just leave the gums pink. As per our design. Which there really wasn't one. I just kind of do these as I go. Uh, one of the ideas I had while I was doing this was, uh, oh, I'll do the, the hands red and pink. But uh, the only red I had was a 
like a ballpoint pen and that would not have blended very well and it would have been a lot of work so I kind of scrapped that idea before I even got too far along with it. Here we go. Let's make this mouth area really gross looking. I'm going to use every highlighter I have to uh, mess this up. It's not even done yet. Yeah. So let's add our cool looking extra black outline, which really ties most drawings nicely together. Kind of, I don't know, just really enhances it to me. Uh, adds a lot of depth to certain areas. But the fingers were too tiny for that sharpie, so I had to go in with my extra fine point. Uh, which is kind of annoying because then you have to double up on some areas to get it thick, but not too bad. At least the fingers didn't just get all overlapped with Sharpie. But, yep, adding that extra line to the teeth, see how it really pops it out? It's, uh, it's magic. But, I think, uh, yeah, here we go. Now let's make it even weirder inside the mouth just keep getting darker and darker. I should have left it right there, but I didn't. I kept going. Yeah. But those uh, lines I added is what kind of makes it look like tie-dye to me. And it, ultimately, it's okay. Do a little close-up of it. You can see the paper in the middle is all wrinkly because of how much juice I flowed into the mouth there yeah but it's not too bad it was lacking something though so I decided I'm gonna color the background in orange I'm not gonna do anything else but it's gonna be orange and then it doesn't have that like printer paper white which makes it very boring so there we go look at that thanks for watching guys